Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new Let's Play of... Yep, it's about time. Tales of Asperia. I've wanted to do this for so freaking long now. Ever since I kind of figured out that, hey, my PS3 doesn't want to work with uh, Tales of Exilia or my Elgato, one of the two. So we started and almost finished Tales of Exilia, and we... I feel so bad. I want to make it up for you guys and play one of the more darker games of the Tales of series. Okay, so we're going to play on English. I'm also going to skip the intro because of copyright claims. If you guys want to look it up, it's called Ring a Bell. Uh, so, I've played this game a lot. But as you guys can see, I haven't touched it since last year. I finished it a year up before. So, uh, <coughs> yeah, well, New Game Plus Mode file, and this is, uh, I think those are both New Game Plus Mode files. Down here are my actual files. Wow, how long did I actually play for? Uh, so, you got 99 files to work with. We will be doing all of that. Well, we won't be doing all 99 files, but we'll be playing on a... <coughs> Sorry, this is New Game Plus Mode, this is, uh, Vanilla Mode. But we found a vanilla mode game because I haven't played this game in like over a year at this point. <laughs> Configure your settings before starting the game. Okay, well, I actually do want message speed to show up all at once because I like to read. Actually, eh, fast wouldn't be that bad. I can change it in the game itself. Battle difficulty. <coughs> there is a difference between de battle difficulties, mostly levels, attacks, and different stats. I will keep it on normal. But I may or may not shift it to hard or easy, depending on what I, uh, what's uh, necessary. Rumble is on or off, I'll put it on. Uh, field camera is new, uh, normal or reverse, it just basically means you want to shift the camera prop. Shift, shift the camera in different ways. Uh, movement stick, directional button. Eh, I'll put on left stick, I like the left stick. Uh, button configuration, I... I just want to make sure I know what I'm doing for all this. Uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, sorry. Just want to get a recap. Uh, all of this will stay the same. I request. Uh, cancel or allow. This is a different mechanic in the Tales of game, so we'll go over that in time. Uh, in, uh, engage camera, which just basically has battle camera, dynamic camera for angles. Uh, field, uh, field of, uh... <coughs> battlefield, uh, uh, bo uh, buoyancy, or borderline, so you know where you can go and where you can't go. Location names, I'm gonna keep that on. Title skits, I'll keep that on. Sub, uh, uh, skit subtitles, I'll keep that on. Movie subtitles, I'll keep that on. Uh, post, uh, battle synopsis or subtitles, I'll keep that on. Uh, we can change the style of how we look at things, so A is, like, the easiest one, or B is really the easiest one to see, but I'll uh, C is the easiest one, but I'll put on B for right now. And then, adjust... Oh, right, you can't really do that. Whoop. <coughs> and let's start the game. There is going to be a long cutscene, and I will talk over most of it. But it's only because copyrights and other shenanigans, I think. But this is going to be a good starting point of where this uh, game is. And for those who are curious, and I bring this up every so often... This game actually has a movie tie-in. The movie is, I believe, two years before the game. So if you ever want to go watch it, I believe it's called Tales of Vesperia's First Strike. I do not remember fully what the name of the movie was called, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh boy, if you guys have never seen a Tales of game, this is going to be quite the interesting prospect for you guys. Ooh, hello. That's a pretty outlook. We got wolves. Okay, I will also say right now, this is probably the darkest the Tales of games have got for a little bit outside of the mobile game. The mobile game was actually a little bit dark, but uh, this one, uh, yeah, you definitely see right off the bat, there's a lot of death. Barriers. The 
Got roads, got go a gorgeous scenery in all honesty. Will bestow ever more prosperity to the world. Can you guys even hear that? I think you guys can barely hear that. Boost that up for you guys. That should be loud enough. Hopefully. Getting right off the heels of Pokemon, so of course my brain's gonna be like a little scripter. Oh, I'm gonna be a little too loud. Oh no. I don't get it. What could have happened to the barrier in this town? Oh, there's a lot of things that could happen. From the Imperial Capital, Zophius, bedrock of peace, we pray. May tranquility bless this world. Bedrock of peace, huh? <gasps> and now, the actual... Uh, the actual graphics in the game, because that's just anime cutscene. Hello, dog. Yuri, this is not good. Oh, geez, that's real loud. Ooh, turn that down slightly. I want to make sure you guys can hear me. That's why I do tests What's before doing Yuri's stuff. Head? Blast is broken again. You don't say, Ted. I'm trying to get the stupid level right. There you go. And they That's just right. finished fixing it. Everyone finished it, fixing What's it, buddy. The deal. Just leave it to the mighty Imperial <clears throat> Knights. That's what they're there for. Huh, the Knights? You know they never come to the lower quarter. Unless it's for taxes. What about the heroic Flynn? <clears throat> I already tried to get Flynn. Okay. They wouldn't even let me see him. Interesting. Oh, so I'm Flynn's replacement, huh? Pretty much. Never mind that. Come on, we're short on people. Ted, Ted, you get down here. They need your help too. Okay, kid. I'll, I'll be there in a sec. Yuri, come on already. Got it. That's weird. He always comes running whenever there's trouble. <laughs> I mean. You're reliable. This place is going to become an aquarium soon if this up. Okay, now we get introduced. Never mind. Still cutscenes. Uh, Gary? The Imperial Capital of Z Zathala. I know the game says it, but I do dumb. I do many dumb. Oh, there's. Rep we don't know his name yet. Except, we're gonna learn it soon. I almost spoiled it. There's Yuri! Yuri! Hi. So, getting into, never mind, cutscene already. Skit, rather. First, the trouble with the knights yesterday. Now the Aquablastia breaks. Aquablastia! Like happen every day in the lower quarter. <clears throat> I know, I know, there's no use whining about it. <clears throat> Yay! So, we get introduced to Yuri, and also, now the different things you do in this Tales of game. You have arts, you can change the arts and the settings with this. So, it's currently on semi-automatic, there's, auto uh, there's automatic, and there's manual. For Tales of Veterans, you want to play on manual for reasons I will say later, and much later than that. Uh, so, we get the, we get this, uh, the arts detail. Azure Edge, a base art unleashes a unleashes the force of wind, uh, um, able to attack from far uh, far away enemies. That's very useful for Yuri right off the bat. It also consumes TP. Considering we've only done Tales of Graces F, and I've published it on uh, my YouTube channel, obviously, uh, TP is basically the magic points of the game, and it's not a bar system anymore. Because remember how in older or in other Tales of uh, in Tales of uh, Graces, or Tales of Graces F, it was uh, 
it was counted by your AP and your action points. That's gone. That was like a... Okay, to put it in retrospect, it was the baby version of a Tales of game. It's still a good Tales of game. I don't want to hear anyone, people... I don't want people saying like, Oh, it's a bad Tales of game. Blah, 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 blah. I, I like it. So, Azure Edge. And then Yuri doesn't start with anything else besides a base art. Base arts are different than some of the other arts we'll get into, but once again, we'll get into those when we get into those. So, uh, Yuri already starts with a wind skill. Yuri, <clears throat> by himself, I believe he's classified more of a wind element uh, character than anything else. Rather than, what does that actually mean? Pretty much freaking nothing. Yuri starts off with wind, and I think that's what people usually refer to as, like, what do you get for the st uh, status. It's like, uh, whatever they start off with. So, you got the modes, which is semi-automatic, automatic, and manual. You can, uh, when you have more parties in your, uh, uh, members in your party, you could use L, uh, ZR and ZL, or R2 and, uh, R2 and uh, L3, or L2, brain, PS4 controls. And I believe for Xbox, it's the left and right triggers, so RT and LT. So I'm just going to give you guys a good quick rundown because this is a multi-platform game. I believe it's also on Steam and I don't know the Steam controls because no one should play on a dang keyboard. Okay, we got our equipment. Yuri starts off with a, co uh, a compact sword, leather, uh, <coughs> black leather, helmet, uh, a leather helmet, and a, le a leather mail. And then he has no accessories. Accessories we'll be finding throughout the game and sometimes we might swap them, sometimes we might not. So we got basic armor, we got basic uh, headgear. And here's something new, the sub-weapon and main weapon for this game in particular. A black, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, a glove made out of uh, the tan ox uh, skin. In uh, serious high uh, protection, it capability inflicts uh, uh, strong attacks. A, uh, a small but well-balanced sword, uh, handy for beginners. So, you know, we'll talk about this more in detail later because there's going to be a lot of stuff in detail for uh, the next little bit. Items. So, how items work is, uh, if you need heal, you just do that, and there's some ones that have the, uh, the time icon over there. That means you can only use them in battle. You have a new tab, which, you know, there's nothing new in it besides what we got right now. You got a weapons tab, a main weapon tab, you got a sub weapon tab, you got a headgear, uh, body, uh, body gear, accessories, food, slash ingredients, uh, synthesized material, which we'll go over later. Uh, valuables, and then the last one we won't talk about because I'll do that off camera and I'll save it for a point where we kind of don't have a lot of things. But considering this is the defin definitive edition, uh, we have all the DLC right off the bat, and that's what the last tab's for. And there's reasons I don't want to show it off just yet. So, uh, yeah, we'll do some of it off camera, and we'll do like the last couple on camera. Alright, next up is skills. Uh, Characters start off with pretty much nothing, and skills are uh, are gained through certain memes that uh, means that we will go over later. Uh, strategy, so this is just basically you know tell your AI what uh, your AI campaign is what to do. This is up to four players. You can play with four players, but let's be fair. Most people nowadays will probably just play by themselves. Cooking is something special, which we'll go over later because you don't have anything in it right now. And you got a status title, or the, the status of the, every character. You learn their full name, so Yuri Lull, uh, Downtown Boy, and Titles. Titles do not mean anything in this game, except a select few, which we'll talk about later. So we have Downtown Boy, a Downtown uh, Zahaf, I cannot read that, resident uh, wanted, uh, by, well, wanted by the Imperial, uh, <clears throat> Imperial Knights that doesn't uh, seem to care. And then uh, Basic Swordsman. <clears throat> One who practices the basics of the Imperial Knights uh, while uh, in in incorporating his own style. Wow, I read that wrong. wrong. So, titles do nothing. You have their physical attack, their physical defense, their magic attack, their magical defense, their uh, agility, and the luck. The luck and agility, I think, don't really matter a whole lot. Well, the, the luck kind of does for certain things, but we'll go, about, we'll go over that later. You get their attack attributes, so if we had Yuri with a wind sword, he would have a wind element. Uh, his, the resistance, which is obviously the, what they're strong against. And then their weakness, which the, it'll be like, uh, if Yuri has a wind guard, he'll be weak to earth or something, or something like that. Accessories, we have, or attachments, we have nothing right now. We will change that sooner or later, but right now it's nothing. 
Right now, uh, in our records, we only have display records, so it basically shows us the statistics of, statistics of our game. 30-man melee, uh, certain things of this don't matter, but we'll talk about it later. Tales of... Oh, I actually didn't realize, I was like... Uh, so just general stuff, statistics that you might want to know of, or like, whatever. The number of games saved doesn't matter, the skits viewed kind of matters for completionist purposes, and all this stuff will be talked about later. And the last one, you have load and save data. You can also go to your options and configure them like you did in the first part of the game. You can load up a game, so if I want to load up, oh say, my finished file, I can do that. But we're not going to do that. So, with the amount of talking the first part requires of me, uh, let's go over a couple more things. The save points. <clears throat> save points are, uh, are, the save points are of advanced formulas, uh, left from the city and forest, uh, create created by mage mages for the purpose of uh, collecting uh, records of travelers. Even <clears throat> even if you quit your journey, you can uh, resume for the last uh, uh, your last res uh, record by saving your progress of save points. The save uh, at the, the the save points. The save points are uh, able to be, uh, are able to be in all places around the world. Make sure you save your game uh, progress when you find them. That is not exactly a lie if you're playing on hard or normal for the first time, which I would recommend in this game in particular. So, we're gonna just pick a... Eh, you know what, no, let's, uh... Actually, you know, yeah, let's overwrite... Not overwrite them, but let's just save that level... I don't know. I mean, what's... what's I mean, this LP is gonna be like a very uh, backwards LP for me, so let's just save my favorite number. My favorite number being 25. You're about to think, why the heck are you saying I'm 25? It's because I don't want it close to any of my other save files. So, next time on Let's Play Tales of Vesperia, we haven't done a whole lot, besides get introduced to the world and me talking a whole lot. Uh, we will go into the town square, or low, lower core square, and figure out, you know, what the balls is going on. I'll see you guys later.